Hello everyone. In this video I will explain everything that you need to know about Honor of Kings. Honor of Kings is a 5v5 multiplayer MOBA game that first released on November 26, 2015 in China. Tencent wanted to make mobile version of League of Legends but Riot didn't agree. So Tencent released Honor of Kings and it was a huge success in China. Honor of Kings was gaining huge amount of success in China, so it became number one game in rankings. It was gaining so much popularity that in 2017, it had 160 million daily active users in the world. Despite having huge success it was never released outside of China. Another reason they succeed was the competitive nature of this game and the esports tournaments. Honor of Kings is known for their huge tournament and prize pool. In 2016 they announced King's Champion Cup with the prize pool of $90,000. After the success of that tournament they keep increasing the prize pool. In 2021 they announced Honor of Kings World Champion Cup with a prize pool of 7.7 .7 million US dollar. No one had ever seen such amount of prize pool in a mobile game. To everyone's surprise they announced KIC 2022. For the first time ever they announced KIC 2022 with different teams around the world. With the insane amount of 10 million dollars prize pool. There were 8 teams from different regions participated in this tournament. It was Tencent's attempt to introduce this game to a newer audience. They tried to globalize this game with Arena of Valor before. Arena of Valor is the western version of Honor of Kings. They implemented same skill heroes with different looks and design. Although the game looks very fun and easy, it never succeeded like Honor of Kings. Unfortunately, it never became popular in Western countries. Also in Asia, it didn't do much. Arena of Valor is only famous in Thailand and Vietnam. There are many reasons why it didn't succeed, but I think the main reason is this. There are too many versions of Arena of Valor, and they are in completely different server. Some of the versions were closed because lack of player in the server. And for that reason Level Infinite, publisher of Arena of Valor Global, tweeted this post. They are bringing Honor of Kings globally. There was a beta test for Brazil, Mexico, and MENA region. It was started in August and ended in December 29. Meaning that global version is coming very soon. And for everyone asking this in the comment section. It might release globally in January. Some of the leaks saying it's coming somewhere between 4th of January to 4th February. Because Chinese server season 30 will start on January 5th. If Tencent want to release the game with same patch, then there will be a high chance of global release. And for Philippines and Indonesia, they might have to wait long for the global version because of some restrictions. Don't take this information as 100% because if tends to delay the release, there is nothing we can do. <laughs> and for the beta test players asking this. You can access with your beta account but your progress will be erased. They will give you some rewards for playing the beta test. So don't ask everyone where your 10,000 tokens are gone. Anyway, if everything is alright in China, then you can expect the global version will come very soon. 
And that's it for today's video. Leave a like if you want to. As always, thank you for watching.